What's up, party people? Today, I set this perfectly good guitar on fire, almost lose a finger, try something really weird, and hopefully end up with a really cool Shell Sugi band, epoxy guitar. Stick around. Behold, a sacrifice. If ye be worthy, ye shall rise like a phoenix from the fires of the weed burner. That's right. I said weed burner. Weed burner! Oh, sorry about that. Spaced out there for a minute. I'm going to attempt to do something with this guitar that I have never seen before. First, I'm going to burn the mm -hmm. out of it. Then I'm gonna coat it with epoxy. First thing I have to do is take it apart. I've gotta remove the strings, the neck, pickups, and the bridge. Let's do that. I hope this thing turns out pretty awesome. This video was inspired by Blacktail Studio. I saw a video where he did a, a fire epoxy table and it was freaking amazing. You should check out his channel because he does just beautiful work. But he actually threw out the idea maybe this would work really well on a guitar, so that's what I'm gonna try, and we'll see how it comes out. Ready to burn. Well, not really. First, I've gotta make a template of this guitar body, because once I burn it, everything's gonna be out of whack, and then when I put the epoxy on, I have no idea what the dimensions of everything need to be. So let's get that done. Something really handy to have in your shop is carpet tape. I use carpet tape all the time for templates. In cases like this, where you will need something to be really strong and stick to your main form that you're gonna shape with and use as a template, I love carpet tape. Get some carpet tape. Now, now we can burn. I'm actually gonna try to burn this with the finish still on it. If it doesn't work, I'll just sand it off. It's so pretty, it's almost a shame, but oh well. Well, clearly the finish did not hinder the burning process. In fact, this finish caught on fire like crazy, and the fire got a little bit out of hand here for a minute, but not to worry. Everything's under control. While the guitar was drying off, I decided to go ahead and start working on the mold for the epoxy form. And all I did was take some quarter inch plywood scraps that I had lying around and made a basic shape for the outline to fill in with the epoxy. I used some hot glue gun, some hot glue gun? I used a hot glue gun to fill in the gaps and then taped it up. So the basic mold shape is done for the guitar. And I'm gonna go ahead and go around the outside of it with plaster of Paris which may seem like overkill and goofy, but if you've seen my epoxy stool video where everything burst open and that really sucked a lot, that's why I'm gonna use this. I just need a little help from my tiny assistant. Just get a little bit on my hand. And smear it back. Yeah, and put it up in the corner right there, okay? Right there. Yep, yep. Yeah. Good job. 
While the mold is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put a thin coat of tabletop epoxy on the guitar body to seal it up. And I just shot some uh, staples through a piece of plywood so that I could go ahead and coat both sides at the same time and be able to flip it. One day, one trip to the supply store and one haircut later, and our seal cut is dry. So what I'm gonna do is sand this, lightly sand it because I got a little too thick on the back. The front, I think is pretty much perfect. And I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pour another coat of the tabletop epoxy over this, and hopefully I can kind of level this up. I'm gonna put some wax paper down. So I'm using the tabletop clear from Super Clear again on this. I'll put links in the description below for all the products that I use in this video. So the side of the guitar that was facing down obviously had drips that ran over the edge and under and those drips were filled with bubbles. So I just took my Dremel tool and I ground those down flush basically and then I went back and sanded over those. I definitely underestimated how much work was gonna go into this project, uh, simply because of having to flip this over so many times. Because of having to get a nice clear coat on the front and back, and it transitioning smoothly. I've got it sanded, I've got it leveled up, and hopefully this will be the final coat yeah. of the... Have you seen my wax paper? Wax paper? Yeah, the stuff I bake with and make candy with. Oh, okay. the final coat of epoxy on the back. Since I've got a little bit of epoxy left over and some of this paper, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I figured I might as well have a little bit of fun. So I've also got some yellow food coloring. And then I'm gonna put it on the wax paper and make a nice little pea stain. Our fake pea stain is set up. The guitar back is set up. And by the way, for these fake uh, pea pranks, it works best if you have a dog. If you don't have a dog, it can be pretty awkward. I guess you could have a cat, but why would anybody have a cat? <laughs> Just kidding. I love cats, especially when prepared and served properly. While the back of the guitar was setting up, I went ahead and finished out my mold by wrapping the inside with Tyvek tape. Now before I mix up my epoxy, I've got to figure out how much epoxy I actually need to mix up and hopefully I have enough. And I know there's all kinds of formulas you can use to do this, but what I'm gonna do, I happen to have some Airsoft pellets and I'm gonna pour these on top and we'll see if I have enough. Hopefully these will cover this. And then I'll pour these into my mixing bucket and I'll be able to tell how much liquid I need. So it looks like we're at about one and a half quarts. So if I do two and a half quarts, I should be good. I'm using this Super Clear 2.0 liquid glass. This is good for a two to four inch thick pour. This is about a one and a half inch thick on the edges and you know thin on top. This is a two part resin to one part curing agent mix. And I need just over two quarts of this total. I had to let this epoxy set for about five days to totally cure. Um, it was actually soft all the way up to that point. Oh, yay! Time for some more carpet tape.
Must be template time. After a quick change of underwear, I decided it was best to take the guitar over to the bandsaw and cut the excess epoxy off. I used a Forstner bit to try to hog out most of this epoxy that I was going to have to use the router on for the components of the guitar just because, well, I mean, what can I say? I, I like my fingers and I want to keep them. So I wanted to get rid of as much of this epoxy as possible so that when I did route it out, it would be minimal. And to help with that, I bought these new router bits that are carbide tipped. I'm pretty sure the other bit was not. And also these are much smaller. So I'm just gonna ease away at it. But when it comes to Once everything was to the correct shape and size, I wet sanded the whole guitar, starting with 400 grit and worked my way up to 3000 grit. Then I went through a six step polishing process with six different rubbing compounds and polishing compounds until I got this. To figure out where to drill the holes for the neck, I just put these screws into the existing holes, then I took a Sharpie, marked the head of each screw so that it was good and wet. Then, after putting green tape down, I pushed the neck down and it left a mark where each screw head was. So in the center of each one of those screw heads is where I'm now gonna drill for the holes. Now I'm trying to decide whether I wanna leave the pick guard as it is. I kinda of hate to cover up all this burnt wood under this epoxy here, but... And here's what we ended up with. Well, it's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. It has a few flaws, but I'm not gonna show them to you. I decided to leave the pick guard as it was for now. I might cut that back later. And I've gotta attach a few things still on here. And obviously I don't have the strings on it yet. It's actually very difficult to show you the depth in video on this. So I just did the best I could. I hope you can see it. So I still have to get strings on the guitar, but in the end, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. And I'm really happy with the stain he made on the driveway. <laughs> <laughs>